And now, meteorologist Marco Lomano with your weather first forecast. Welcome back everyone. So let's go over those hurricane watches and warnings. Once again, Sun Coast still under a hurricane watch. Don't expect that to change. The only change would be from watch to warning as we get closer to Sunday. And that goes into the Fort Myers area. This covers all of our viewing area. And then a hurricane warning is in effect in South Florida, Miami, Palm Beach County, Naples, up to I think Broward County as well. So here is Irma. I know a lot of people on social media have been sharing about Jose. Uh, this is not a short term concern for us. We're looking at this to take a sharp turn north. Where it goes after that, we're not sure, but this, not even in the next two weeks, is this a concern for us. So we're focusing on Irma. And Irma, very powerful storm, and a very big storm as well, moving northeast of Cuba at the moment. As of the latest advisory, this is the 8 a.m. advisory, winds have gone down from 155 to 150. That still makes it a powerful, major hurricane at a Category 4. Part of this is because of the eyewall replacement cycle it's going through, and usually when you see that, you'll see the wind field expand, uh, but you'll usually not see it intensify. So the pressure's gone up, still moving to the west-northwest at 16 miles per hour. Now as this moves to the northwest around Saturday, we're looking to see how soon we get a northwesterly curve. That'll determine how far east or west this is going to move. Current track takes this just west of Lake Okeechobee. So by 2 a.m. Monday, it'll be east or northeast of the Sun Coast at either a Cat 2 or a Cat 3 hurricane. That can produce a lot of damage, but this path would do two things. One, it would weaken the storm a lot as it moves to the Sun Coast, and two, it would keep the worst winds northeast of us. But notice how we're still in the cone of uncertainty. It could still take this path, and on that note, it can still take this path over here. So coast to coast, Florida needs to continue to prepare. After this, it's expected to move to the north, maybe through the middle Georgia area, but by then it'll be a tropical storm, and it doesn't look like it'll be anywhere near, anywhere near uh, what the winds are currently. Now these are the chance of 40% or 40 mile per hour or more wind. So this is the possibility for tropical storm force winds. The darker it is, the higher the chance. So as this moves to the north, notice the reds and the pinks here. They move north Sunday and Monday. Starting Sunday morning or afternoon, we have a very, very high chance, 80, 90% of getting tropical storm at least force winds. Whether we get hurricane force winds, that will be dependent on how far west that cone is, or not the cone, but the eye of the hurricane. The Euro model takes this up the spine of the state. So again, this could produce hurricane force winds, especially DeSoto County. You folks joining us in DeSoto, Eastern Charlotte, closer to the coast, it varies. If this wobbles to the west, we could get hurricane force winds. So it's still a wait and see. Keep preparing for a major hurricane landfall. Keep hoping that it moves east. That's the only thing we can do for now. Uh, pardon me there, uh, that should have been the seven day. Here we go. So Sunday is the day into Monday morning. 